this is what someone said, but let's just say it's anonymous. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know what to do. Ibs, help me. My friend is lying about her boyfriend, that she has one. And once I found her out, I did a little digging and found out the photos of him that she had were from the internet. Yesterday, she came into school saying <laughs> that he died. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <laughs> What could we say for that one? That's right. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and... Listen. I've been there for almost a decade. I've been Sarah for just under a year. Thank you so much. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Today we're trying something new. I'm with my friend. Okay, so who are you? <laughs> oh wow. Her name is Jimmy yes. or Tosu. Mm. Um, she's got green hair, which isn't She hers. has green hair, so that's not hers. It's not mine. She supports the best team. We're just in a trouble patch at the moment, but we'll get there. Oh, Jesus. Where are you from? Yeah, from London. And then we have... Hi, Jasmine, also from Hackney. Um, I don't have a wig, I've got braids on. My okay. hair's not green, sorry. <laughs> and Jasmine, what are you studying? Uh, ergonomics and human factors at Loughborough. At Loughborough. Nice. And then we have... Sarah doing archaeology, the best subject, here yeah. at Cambridge. Okay. okay. <laughs> it is the best subject. White supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought my friends with me from Hackney, I'm from Cambridge, to do a new series that I like to call Psychology. Yay. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> so because I have been a psychology student for almost 14 weeks, I feel like I have the right qualifications to tell you guys how to fix your lives. You're right. So I feel like you should have a disclaimer before we start. Yeah. What's the disclaimer? Right. If you have problems, there will be official links down in the description below. There we go. Had to make people yeah. to the right yeah. places to go that can give you any help if you're suffering with whatever. Mm. Yes. Well, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> White supremacy. No, <laughs> okay. I put on my Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat. Also follow Sarah on Instagram. Do you follow you on Instagram? Yes, follow me. Jasmine? <laughs> yeah, so follow us on Instagram. Um, and but I'm the one that gets all your messages about psychology. So mm-hmm. the one we got, I'm assuming is anonymous. Yeah, please keep me anonymous. I was about to bait her name. So this is what somebody said. My parents want me to do something in uni that I don't particularly enjoy doing. I like to do something completely different. In brackets, if anything, my course aspiration is better than what they want me to do. Close brackets. And every time I try to bring it up, they always get mad. I don't know what to do. I've got one year left to decide. So what do I do? So this is a girl. What should we give her as a nickname? Lisa. 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 So Lisa. Lisa is here and she is going to uni, but her parents don't want her to do a subject that she wants to do. Let's just give an example. Let's just say they want her to do medicine. Because okay. everybody every wants her to do medicine. Asian, yeah. Every Asian person mm-hmm. that I know, medicine, medicine, medicine. But let's just Everyone. say hypothetically, she wants to do English. Okay. I would say you do what you want to do. That's my initial thought. Okay. Yeah. I would just like make sure you do your research on the actual course so you know that mm-hmm. this is for you. Also, you still have time to change, but as long as you know like a rough guideline, oh, I want to go into this, I want to go into that. Don't... Okay, someone came prepared. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would say do what you want to do, but also answer your parents why it is that they want you to do the course that they think is better for you. Mm. Especially if she's said that the aspirations for the for the, the one mm. that she wants to do is oh, better. is better. better. Why, why is it they yeah. want to do that? Again, I would also say do what you want to do, and I'd agree. Listen to your parents just to consider why they would say that. Um, but also remember that, like you said, you only have a year. Really, you don't just have a year. You have as much time as you need. You can always not go to university straight away. You can always change a subject. Like there's a lot of things you can do. But yeah, no, like I took three years out of. Uh, education and I ended up coming to Cambridge. Initially I was gonna go to Exeter. <sighs> That's the end of this video. Thanks guys. <laughs> Block her on Instagram. But then I was just like, no no, I really like archaeology. Took some extra years out. I did some archaeological digs. My dad didn't want me to do archaeology, he wanted me to do an MBA. I say his dad. And mm-hmm. also or physics, because that's what he wished he did. My mum was always supportive, so I had kind of from two different sides. Um, but yeah, I took the years out. Now I'm here at Cambridge studying archaeology and recently my dad actually t- said he's admitted like, you know, you were right, you should have done what you wanted to do because my passion has opened up quite a few connections and possibilities and he's like realises it's serious, I can do well with archaeology. I think because you're happy. Mm. Like, yeah. she this bit. She loves her fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Like I got her t-shirt that says don't fuck with me, I'm not yeah. Like when I was young, mm. they always said be a doctor. 
Yeah. Be a doctor, be a doctor. Like they were like, oh, Khadija's gonna be a teacher, Osman's gonna be a banker, and you're gonna be a doctor. Okay, thanks for the pressure, <laughs> first of all, yeah. So I was like, um, okay. And then when I got older, like, I didn't like science. I wasn't good at science. And mm. then when my GCSEs came out, like, two Ds in science. <laughs> Don't tell me what happened, is it? <laughs> so I was like, okay, what do I do? And the thing is, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I felt like my parents just gave up on me. Mm. So for me, I kind of had some freedom to do what I want. So I really wanted to do sociology. That was the original plan. Obviously, I changed it last minute because I wanted to do HSPS and then psychology. But my point is, like, social sciences... When I go home, mm -hmm. my dad always has a problem. And he had a problem more with psychology than sociology. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of cultural aspects of it as well. Like psychology isn't a thing that's been around in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Some people don't even believe in it at all. So I feel like for me, it was like, okay, do what you want to do, which was psychology, but also like, try to prove to your family that is the subject that's of well, value. Well, yeah. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, like, that's kind of hard to do because <laughs> like, uh, it's kind of broad and it's hard and it always see me struggle. But I feel like for me, like I'm in a position where like, my family are happy because I go to Cambridge, mm. yeah. but doing psychology, they're a bit like, where is that gonna get you? Oh, so I feel like yeah. I just have to like show them like, yeah. one day, one see, day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah. I believe that it's gonna give me that because I just know like, like so you yeah. have connections. Yeah. I mean, I've spoken to people and I feel like it's such a broad exactly. degree where I'm happy doing it and like yeah. because I'm happy I like to study for it so I would like to think I'll get a decent grade yeah, that's and like I learn a lot in it I mean I won't yeah, be yeah. as rich as a doctor but at least I won't be stressful yeah, true. I can't yeah. deal with blood when I we mean, went to the brain we went to the lab and I had to go to the brain <gasps> that would be so cool I literally couldn't do it because I was like I'm not God <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, who are we to play God no, no, no. at first she was happy that she was going to go to uni she's like okay you're gonna you know continue with your education or whatever the problem she now has is because I didn't like enjoy the course I did, so Which therefore, was... I, sports science personal training at Bevshire, don't go to tech uni. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. you gotta be one, you gotta be one. I'm gonna come to Exeter, so Exeter, Bedfordshire. Oh, a, oh no, wow, what are you gonna do? <laughs> and now, like, that I'm on a gap here, she's now like, oh, pick something that, that she thinks I'm going to excel at, like. Oh, do ICT or something like that, and I have to explain. You to her, wouldn't like, say what ICT. I sh <laughs> <can't be laughs> <imagine>. <laughs> me that I can't even use a Mac, guys. Like, oh god, no, no. But you just I have to make sure, like, it's not the be all and end all, because you can also go to uni like whenever you want to. Now, yeah. when you're older, younger, I just feel like yeah. the course I originally did wasn't specific enough to the sport mm. route that I want to go to. That just wasn't the right course for me. And I kind of, you sometimes you underestimate how hard your course is going to be or how easy. Yeah. Which you need Ooh. to be careful for. <laughs> yes. Which, huh. don't let it Yeah, you need hard, mm. man. Jasmine's degree is so, I never it's heard so of it. Yeah. 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 I was like, yeah. what is, uh, it sounds like a Pokemon. Really My dad still doesn't know. <laughs> the best way to describe it is the study of how things are used. And that mm. sounds really weird, but when you actually think about it and like tell people about it, they're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So... My subject is sort of psychology, engineering, mm. product design, and like human bio all combined. So imagine- but you do statistics yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah, I do like statistics, Just, like yeah. a flat yeah. chunk of like, I do like experimental psychology, all of that sort of thing. So um, at the moment I'm on placement at a pharmaceutical company. So I'm working with like medical devices and sort of how they use the colors that are used in those or the human factor studies that are done prior to a device being submitted with the FDA. Um, so it's all the simple things like, will this person be able to read the instructions and actually successfully get the dose that they're supposed to from like the colors? Will they mix up a, two different insulin pens, for example? So that's the best way to describe mm. it. When you say it like that, it does kind of make sense. His, he knows I'm happy, so he doesn't care. Okay, like, yes, my yes, parents yes. were never, they never really said to me, go and do this. I just said, if you're enjoying it, as long as you do go to like, go and pursue your education. So do you feel like it's cultural stuff? And the thing is, yeah, I wish I was over exaggerating. Mm -hmm. The the Paxot here, the Pakistani boys here, all the Asian yeah, boys here yeah. in Cambridge, yeah. med it. I think I'm the only yeah. one of the few wow. non-med or That's natural crazy. science or That's economics. Crazy. And and, yeah. and generally, like, literally speaking, in the psychology, the whole year, mm. I'm the only brown boy. Wow. Mm. And I think it also comes down to kind of like your background. So within my family, I've got two sort of very different backgrounds. I've got more upper middle class on one side and working class on the other side. So for some of them, it's like, oh, you're doing, you're at Cambridge. That's amazing. Well done. Who says that? Like the lower... that's, a, that's on the working yeah. class side. Mm. But then on the upper middle class side, it was a bit more like, oh, you're at Cambridge studying what? And it'd be like, oh, archaeologist said, 
oh, well, this person's doing engineering. And there was still a little bit. So I think that also completely depends on the background you have and, again, the support you will get, which is, I think, why it's also very important to realise when you're hearing things from your family. Although it's important to consider what they're saying, because obviously they, they love you probably and are giving you advice from what they've learned, always consider outside sources, especially now with like the new media. Um, mm. I mean, look, you've got Ipsa studying yeah. psychology mm. at Cambridge, so... Archaeology on her Instagram account. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. get enough information about it, where it comes to a point where like you can sit down your parents and be like, look, yeah. this is what I'm going to do, mm. and this is why, and this is why I like it, and this is what it's going to lead to. Mm. I feel like once they know that, and I think once they see that you're proper serious about it, mm. then they'll be fine. But let's just say hypothetically, yeah, they're not even then supportive. What if you've got them that like, weird anti parents who are just like, do medicine or I'm gonna send you to freaking Pakistan? Do what you need yeah, to do. Need to, yeah. If you know you wanna do it, you'll find a way to persuade them or at least acknowledge that yeah. you're going to do yeah. this course. I totally they may agree. not like it, but what can they yeah. do? They're not gonna go exactly. with you when you're at uni. Yeah. Yeah. For real, man. It's not their student yeah. debt. Yeah. It's yeah. not really yeah. for their lives. Mm. That I, sounds very rebellious and such, yeah. but you're not living your life mm. with your and parents. Then, Another thing to add, if you are in a situation where you will then become possibly estranged from your family by mm. doing what you love, there is support out there, like, in mm. terms of financial support, like, you can get, like, uh, different money coming in if you are estranged from your parents. Unfortunately, there will be an investigation into that, but okay. if you're worried about that side of things, there is outside support that you can mm. utilise, which, again, if you sort of do the research online, the information's all out there, and... Hopefully also you'll have friends who can support you, like... Mm -hmm. Maybe back in the day, when you were doing a psychology degree, like, then you realised that your friend Barry, he did psychology, <laughs> he went to go work in Lidl, yeah. yeah? Okay, fine, but Lidl, they're giving you decent pay. That's yeah. true. But mean. that's a different time, like, nowadays, do you know what I mean? If you take it more mm -hmm. seriously, and also, like, yeah. if you get a good grade in any degree, mm -hmm. I feel like that will kind of benefit you a lot and that's why going back to your original yeah. point like mm. uni is hard yeah, yeah. uni mm -hmm. is hard full stop like yeah you whatever just... course you do is hard like you will still have moments where you're just going to be like oh why am i doing this oh because that's just the nature of the beast because you are going to be studying and be learning a lot and sometimes you won't be having you know as much free time as you did before and also for a lot of people obviously the whole experience of uni is being away from their family and all these other things so it's going to be hard for those reasons but it definitely helps if you love your subject and that can definitely give you that sort of motivation. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I always look yeah. back at my personal statement or when I was yeah. writing mm, it, when I was exactly. like, I love this and this and I yeah. want to do this and mm. this and I love yeah. psychology or I love sociology, every single thing about it. Because like, when you come to uni, there's so much more like, as much as I wish your like that's not the thing your parents should be stressing about, really and truly. It's like, yeah. not just your degree. Like, there's so much more yeah. that, that really needs to be deep. But I feel yeah. like whenever that happens, Keep thinking about as to why you love your subject. Mm -hmm. So Lisa, what would you say, Lisa? Oh, this um, is the girl. Oh, okay, so Lisa, just sit them down. Make sure you have your points by your uni. As we've all mentioned, like why do you like it? Why do you want to go here? At least if they have that secured in their like mindset, they'll be like, okay, may not like the uni, may not like the course, but I know that yeah. you're happy about it. Yeah. So this will give me confidence that you're gonna thrive no matter what. What would you say to Lisa? The same. Similar what you, what same. you said as well. Yeah, I'd yeah. say the same. Just, you know, be certain with it. Go through, do a pros and cons list, show them that you're serious. Yes. Um, and if you are worrying yourself about it, maybe take a few years out. You can work, you can mm. kind of get experience relating to do. it. Yes. Um, there are so many options and just, you know, whatever Homer and Marge says, just... Yeah. <laughs> and also, <laughs> like, if you have a sibling, Maybe they did something worse. Yeah. So, for example, Mum, I'm going to do journalism at the University of Bedfordshire, but yeah. Khadija's pregnant. <laughs> then just walk out. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Uh, don't don't do that. Bye, bitch. <laughs> That's your child's problem, not me. Or just be like, yeah, like, oh, they took drugs or they're selling drugs. Bye. Oh, wow. Okay. Nope, they're stressing That's anymore. a canny way to go. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, go quick with it all. If it doesn't work Good out, man. don't blame us. Don't like we said in the disclaimer, <laughs> we're not freaking real psychologists. We're not involved. <laughs> we're not involved. <laughs> we love you. We wish you good luck. Okay, yeah. bye guys. Bye. Oh, and make sure you like this. If they get it to 3,000 likes, 3, yeah. then we'll do this again. Okay. We guys do it again. Yeah. Okay. Take care, guys. Bye. bye. bye.